Every good story starts off with a memorable beginning to hook you in. The same concept applies to roller coasters as well. Nearly all roller coasters start off with a large drop of some kind. These drops are usually where the story begins and are often the best and most memorable parts of the ride. Lots of factors play into a good drop from the speed, max height, angle of descent, and of course the scenery in the surrounding area. I'm Patrick of Coaster Fanatics and today I'm counting down the list of my top 10 favorite roller coaster drops. Kicking off this list in the number 10 spot I have Renegade. Located at Valley Fair in Shakopee, Minnesota and with a max height of 97 feet and a top speed of 51 miles per hour, at first glance this doesn't appear to be anything special. However, Renegade has a trick up its sleeve with its S-curve drop. Although it's not the tallest and most forceful drop, it's still a lot of fun. Very rare and unique drop, which is why it just cracks the top 10 on this list. The only other similar drop I've experienced is the Kentucky Rumbler, which was also built by Great Coasters International. Number 9. Time Traveler Located in one of my favorite parks, Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri, Time Traveler features probably the most unique drop I've ever experienced. This awesome coaster starts off with a bang due to its 90 degree drop right out of the station. If that isn't enough to get you excited, let's talk about the spinning trains. Almost immediately the train turns sideways and then eventually completely backwards during its descent. It really does set the pace for the wild ride ahead. Truth be told, you're really not going to find a drop like Time Traveler anywhere else. Number 8. El Toro Located at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey, El Toro is the park's star attraction. This coaster puts out one of the wildest rides you'll ever find and it all starts with its 176 foot drop, which is one of the largest for a wood coaster. Reaching a top speed of 70 miles per hour, this drop packs a punch and even features a nice head chopper from the crossover at the bottom of the drop. Easily one of the best wood coaster drops and one where you should definitely have your hands in the air. Number 7. Goliath This one is located at my home park which is Six Flags Great America in Gurney, Illinois. Although not as tall as El Toro, with the use of its underground tunnel, Goliath does have the longest drop for a wood coaster in the world at 180 feet. One of the steepest drops as well. Overall, this is a very forceful drop with the train reaching a top speed in a hurry due to its compact layout. Back row definitely has to be the best seat on this drop. The weight from the front of the train just whips you over the top as you begin this crazy ride you won't soon forget. Similar drops include Lightning Rod at Dollywood and Outlaw Run at Silver Dollar City. Number 6. Skyrush Known for its intense ejector airtime, Skyrush is located at one of my favorite parks, which is Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Although many look at this as a wing coaster, it's more of a hyper coaster with its 200 foot drop. What I love about it is that the drop continues into the first turn, making it one of the more intense parts of the ride. Of course, you can't forget about that cable style lift hill that gets the train to the top in a hurry. With a nearly straight down 85 degree drop, Skyrush gives great views of Comet and the water below during your descent. Overall, one of the best drops for sure, and even better at night. Number 5, Iron Rattler. Believe it or not, this is the only RMC hybrid on this list. Iron Rattler is located at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas in San Antonio. This drop is very well done. It's in a great setting next to the quarry walls and offers great views as the train slowly crests over the lift hill. In fact, it goes so slow it almost gives that dive coaster effect, which is something I really like. At 81 degrees, this drop is nearly straight down and gets the train to a top speed of 70 miles per hour. Very exciting drop overall. If that isn't enough to get you excited, how about that bonus drop off the quarry wall towards the end? Number 4. Millennium Force Of course, many of you know that this is my number one steel coaster. Located at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, Millennium Force offers some of the best views from the top of its lift hill. Although I've never tried the look, I've heard from many that on a clear day you could actually see Canada from the top. The drop gives you the illusion that the train is going to dive right into Lake Erie and it's just awesome, day or night. Crowned with being the first Giga Coaster, Millennium Force features a 300 foot drop at an 80 degree angle for a top speed of 93 miles per hour. Lots of fun in any seat. The back row gives you a nice whip as it crests over the top and the front gives you a nice sense of speed with all the wind. No doubt one of the best drops in the world. However, you can find similar drops on other Giga Coasters such as Fury 325 and Intimidator 305. Number 3. Phantom's Revenge This one I was tempted to put at number 1. To be honest, the whole top 3 can pretty much go either way. Located at Kennywood in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania, the main drop on this coaster doesn't have all that much to offer. 
However, the second drop is where the magic happens on Phantom's Revenge. This amazing 232 foot drop falls right into a ravine and through the structure of Thunderbolt for probably the best head chopper moment on any coaster. All this while going at a top speed of 85 miles per hour. Such a unique drop in my opinion and very thrilling. You're really not going to find another one like it anywhere else in the world, that's for sure. Number 2. Top Thrill Dragster Although it's probably one of the shortest rides out there, there are a few rides that are more adrenaline packed than Top Thrill Dragster. Located at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, with a massive drop of 400 feet, there are a few coasters that even compare. This is definitely a hands in the air kind of drop as you fall down 90 degrees and through an inline twist. At the bottom you reach top speed again at 120 miles per hour. Most people focus on the launch on this coaster, but for me the drop is where it's at. No matter how many times I ride this coaster, it is just as good as the first time and it never gets old. If you're looking for a similar drop, King to Cut at Six Flags Great Adventure is the place you'll find it. Before I reveal number one, let's talk about two coasters that just missed the list. Raging Bull at Six Flags Great America and Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point. Raging Bull is similar to Goliath earlier on the list with its underground tunnel at the bottom of the drop. It also features a unique pre-drop right before the 208 foot descent. Now I know you guys will beat me up for Steel Vengeance not making this list, but it's for good reason. Steel Vengeance has no doubt the best overall ride experience on any roller coaster I've ever been on. It's so good in fact that for me the main drop is actually forgettable. Don't get me wrong, it's a good drop, but everything after it is so much better that I don't even think about that massive 200 foot drop that much. Which is why it just misses out on making this list. Alright, now for an old classic at number 1. The Beast. Yeah, I expect to get some hate comments for this one as well, but for me, the second main drop on The Beast is my favorite drop out of any roller coaster I've ever been on. Located at one of my favorite parks, Kings Island in Mason, Ohio, The Beast is known for its amazing night ride. For me, this drop is the best part of the ride. It's so unique because it's very long and drawn out, and banks hard to the left in preparation for that massive double helix at the bottom. It does have a trim brake at the top that slows the train down, but even with that, it's still a very fast and forceful drop. Imagine how cool it would have been to experience this drop when the beast first opened with no trim brakes. It had to be absolutely insane. Today it's probably the most well known wooden roller coaster in the world and for me no doubt has the best drop I've ever experienced to date. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share some of your favorite roller coaster drops in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Those of you that are new around here can smash that Coaster Fanatics icon to subscribe and stay updated on all things roller coaster. Thanks again for watching. I'm Patrick of Coaster Fanatics, and I'll catch you all in the next video very, very soon.